Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to have a look at the different item of the months uh, that have been released in Rotopia and if it's worth to buy item of the month. Um, like if you bought every single item of the month when it got released and then you sold it today, would you profit or would you lose Warlocks? So yeah, that's what we're going to take a look at today. Uh, the short answer is yes. For the long answer, just continue watching the video. So first of all, I would like to point a few things out before we get started. Um, as the purchase price, like as the first price, when an item of the month is released, it's of course 200,000 gems in the shop. And to make it easy to calculate, I have said that if you buy the item of the month on the release, it will cost you 200 Warlocks. Now, of course, it actually costs a bit less than that, like 150 Warlocks or something like that on release. But just to make it fair for all item of the month, I have written here that they cost 200 Warlocks to buy on the release. And uh, before they changed it to 200,000 uh, gems, which was with the Royal Lock, the first four item of the month actually only cost 100,000 gems. So I have written here that they cost 100 Warlocks. Uh, and of course, they might have been a bit cheaper than that uh, in reality. But just to make it easier to calculate, uh, I have chosen to, do, uh, chosen to do it this way. And then another thing, during 2019 last year, they did something really weird where they have these like four different colors of the item of the month. Uh, so what I've done for those months is that I have just ignored the rare variant like for example the uh, Hellfire horns there is a R Hellfire horns ruby I have just completely ignored the uh, ruby horns like the rare version Because it but you wouldn't get it basically. It's such a small chance. It doesn't really matter I can just ignore it and then I added all of the other versions or colors uh, their price together and then I divided it by uh, three basically so we got the average price for the different colors that's how I did it to all of those item of the months um, uh, to determine the prices of the items that they have nowadays I used the website called grow stocks which is a website run by different players who, when they see someone do a trade in game or when they can confirm it was a legit trade they add it to the website and it's basically this whole da database of uh, everything like all the trades all items their prices and their price history in Grotop. it's a really good website I really think you should check it out uh, but without further ado let's just start going through all of the item of the months with the purchase price uh, or their original price and then the uh, price that they are worth today. Starting off, we have the Golden Racer Wings, the first item of the month. You can buy these for 100 Warlocks, and you, if you bought them, you could sell them today for 15 Warlocks. So you would have lost a bunch of Warlocks there if you bought them. The next item of the month is Sreys, Sreys, Drago Scarf, and it's worth 171 Warlocks today, so you would actually have profited 71 Warlocks. Then the next one is Kudos Carriage, and it's worth 30 Warlocks today, so you would have lost 70 Warlocks. The next one is Diamond Horn, and this one is worth 175 Warlocks today, so you would have profited 75 Warlocks. The Royal Lock is the first lock, or the first item of the month, uh, which has the price tag of 200,000 gems. So uh, now... Uh, all items after this one will have the uh, original price of 200 Warlocks. Uh, and this one actually rose to a lot of money, so you would have profited so much if you bought the Royal Lock and sold it today. We have the Speed Medallion next, and you would actually have tripled your money if you bought that. Then we have the Prismatic Aura, and you would have lost a couple of Diamond Lock, uh, I mean, about one Diamond Lock if you bought this and sold it today. The Ghastly Robe, you would have went even, you wouldn't have lost anything, but you wouldn't have gained anything either. Then we have the Cloak of Falling Waters, basically not that big of a loss, 10 Warlocks, doesn't really even matter. 
not that big of a loss, but no profit here either. Then we have Sifir Helmet and the Winterfest Calendar 2017. And the calendar is actually worth about 5 diamond locks. So that's the only reason this gets 610 warlocks. Because this is the unused calendar and it's actually pretty rare. Um, so yeah, you would actually have made profit if you saved that calendar and didn't place it and you sold it today. So it's not actually because of the Sephir helmet that this scores such a high price. Then we have the Rayman's Fist, of course. You would have profited a ton of Warlocks if you bought that and sold it today. Uh, then we have the Magplan 5000 and the same thing there, of course, you would have made a lot of profit. Then we have Will of the Wild, 285 Warlocks, which means that you would have profited 85 Warlocks, not that bad. Uh, then we have Epoch Machine and you would have more than double your Warlocks if you bought this. Then we have the Groscan 9000 and you would also have more than double your Warlocks if you bought this. We have Raptor Legs. Really big profit here, almost 5 diamond locks, even more than 5 diamond locks profit if you bought them when they got released and sold them today. The Mighty Tiger, that's a big oof if you bought that and sold it today, 110 warlocks lost. We also have Cloak of Hoveration, same thing there, big loss. Uh, Sorcerer's Tunic of Mystery would actually have made you 55 warlocks profit. Shadow Spirit of the Underworld would have made you lose 50 Warlocks. Monarch Butterfly Wings would have made you lose 40 Warlocks. Go Go Growformer, big, big oof. It's only worth 59 Warlocks today. Hovernator dro Drone, the average price of all the common colors is only 47 Warlocks. Ouch. Then we have Dragon Warrior Shield, average price of the common variants is also just 53 Warlocks, big oof if you bought this. More to the Elephant actually has a higher average price, but still, it's an oof man, you lost Warlocks if you bought them and sold them today. Hellfire Horns is the only one I think that actually makes you profit from, the, from 2019 with these 4 color variant. Because he would actually have made 176 uh, Warlocks profit, which is pretty insane. Then we have Genius Lamp, big oof right there, about 70 Warlocks lost. Galactic Destructor, even more of a big oof, man. It's only worth 66 Warlocks today, on average, all of these colors, the normal colors. Night King's Cape, actually also one that would have given you profit. I think it's the... Uh, I don't know which color it is that uh, has a really high price, but one of these has a high price. And of course it's not a rare one, because I am not calculating with the rare one. Uh, but yeah, 313 Warlocks, you would have profited. Astro Shades, you would have made a tiny bit of profit, depending on which shade you got, but this is the average price. Then we get the Riding Warlock, now they just completely removed the rare variant and the average price of the Riding Warlock is 143 Warlocks, so not that good. The Cursed Spirit Pendant would actually have almost doubled your money. And the Laser Skimitar would have lost you a couple of Warlocks. The Dueling Starfighter would have lost you almost a full Diamond Lock. And the Ancient Shards, now we're getting into 2020. Uh, this would have lost you 50 Warlocks, Medusa's Crown, 1 Diamond Lock loss, Galaxy, Galaxy Aura, about 1 Diamond Lock loss right there as well. Uh, boastful Brawler here, huge loss. And a Powerful Ponytail here, also a huge loss. Uh, Doomsday Hammer, even bigger loss actually, you would have, made, you would have lost so many Warlocks. Uh, Go Anywhere Surfboard, breaking a new record here, only 40 Warlocks worth. Pretty bad item of the month. Uh, the Pegasus Wings, uh, according to the Growstox website, this item is getting price manipulated too much, so I don't know the uh, the current price of these, so we're just not going to use it in my calculations later. We got Golem's Gift, and it would have lost you 110 Warlocks. Alright, so now let's take a look at these Google uh, Sheets that I made right here, um, containing all of the item of the month. The first row right here is the uh, original buying price. Uh, this is also the original buying price. This is the original buying price. This is the original buying price. Alright. 
Then the one below it is the uh, the price today. Uh, I'm just going to select all of them so you guys know what I'm talking about. This is the price today. These are the Pegasus wings, so we have the data missing right there. And of course, we have 2017 January, and it's very nice sorted out here. Uh, then we have a bunch of numbers down here and some over here, which I'm going to explain later. So. With this data, we can actually take out a couple of interesting things. So we can see that in January, we can see which month is the most profitable month to buy the item of the month in, for some reason. So we have in January, if we calculate it with the Raymond's Feast, you would have made 7,549 Warlocks profit. But of course, it's kind of uh, unfair to calculate it with the Rayman's Feast and the Mag Plant and also the Royal Lock, I believe. So we're just going to pretend that those doesn't exist in uh, some calculations here. I'm going to have one calculation with them included and one without it, them included. Uh, but if we don't calculate with the uh, Rayman's Feast, you would actually have lost 201 Warlocks if you bought every January uh, item of the month and sold it today. With February we have the same thing, big profit if you calculate it with the mag plant, 4198 Warlocks profit. But if we don't calculate it with it, you actually have a even bigger loss in February. Uh, you would have lost 252 Warlocks if you bought every single item of the month in February and then sold it today. Uh, then we have a March, which is a bit better because you would have only lost 153 Warlocks. April is actually the second highest month if we don't calculate with the Royal Lock, Mag Plant or Rayman's Feast. And you would actually have profited 354 Warlocks if you bought every single April item of the month on the release and sold it today. Uh, during May you would only have made 13 Warlocks but it's still a profit if you bought every single May item of the month and sold it today. June would have made you 306 Warlocks which is a nice profit. Uh, July, this is the Royal Lock. If we calculated with the Royal Lock, you would have made 1,423 Warlocks. And without the Royal Lock, it's a pretty bad month and you would have lost 157 Warlocks. In August, this is the best month to buy item of the month for some reason, I guess. August just gets the best item of the month, apparently. If we don't calculate with Rayman's Feast, Mag Plant or Royal Lock, if you just ignore those and pretend like they're just going to release normal item of the month. It seems like it's best to invest in the item of the month in August. For some reason, maybe this is connected to Summerfest. Or maybe August is just really lucky and got a bunch of good item of the month. Who knows, but you would have made 395 Warlocks profit if you bought every single August item of the month and sold it today. If you bought every single September item of the month and sold it today, you would have lost 196 Warlocks. If you bought every single October item of the month, <laughs> if you bought every single October item of the month and sold it today, you would have made 143 Warlocks, which is a nice profit. November, you would have lost 93 Warlocks. And in December, you would have gained 184 Warlocks. So December is actually pretty good. Now let's compare the different years to, to each other. 2017 would have made you 2,347 Warlocks profit. If uh, if we calculate it with the uh, Royal Lock, right? Yeah, this is with the Royal Lock. If we don't calculate it with the Royal Lock, you would have made 767 Warlocks, which is still pretty good. So you would have definitely made profit if you bought them in 2017 and sold them today three years later. 2018, if you bought every single one, you would have made 12,944 Warlocks profit. That's over one blue gem lock if you bought every single item of the month uh, during 2018 and sold them today. But this is including both the uh, Raymond's Feast and the Mag Plant. So actually, if we exclude them in the calculations, you would only have made 744 Warlocks. But that's still pretty good. Uh, that's in two years, if you would have kept them for two years. And if you bought the ones from 2019, and sold them today, you would have lost 223 Warlocks, so it seems like you need to wait about two years until you can make profit. So 2019, maybe 
if we just wait a little while right now they are really low um, next year they might rise to 744 warlocks who knows 2019 they haven't really been cooked yet <laughs> they haven't uh, get any chance to rise in price so you would actually have lost a bunch of warlocks right there and then in 2020 if you bought every single item of the month and sold it today you would have lost uh, 1145 warlocks which is about 11 diamond locks and uh, of course these items have not ge have gotten they haven't gotten a chance to rise in value so of course you're going to lose some money if you bought them this year and then sold them the same year just a couple of months later so it seems like we ha actually have to wait about two or three years until you can actually profit with your item of the month but overall, if you bought every single item of the month from the release and you kept it in your inventory or in your world and then you sold it today, you would have made one, no wait, 13,923 warlocks. So that's how many BGLs is that? That's one BGL and 40 diamond locks. Uh, if we calculate it with the royal lock, the uh, Raymas feast and the mag plant. And if we don't calculate it with that, like if they never added those, let's let's just pretend with they aren't in the uh, they aren't item of the month, then you would actually have made 143 warlocks profit. So you would still have profited, even though they didn't add Rayman's feast, mag plant, or royal lock. So in the future, if they just keep adding random, as people say, useless item of the month. You would actually still profit if you bought every single one and then sold it, as you can see right here. Even though we don't have Magplant, Rayman or Royal Lock, those are the overpowered item of the month included, you would actually still have made profit. Um, and if they do decide to add a overpowered item, you would actually make an insane amount of profit. Uh, so yeah, I really hope this video like helped you in some way, I don't know, I just kind of felt like... I wanted to make a video about what happens if you buy all of the items of the month. I don't know. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.